Pak Frankie has been very supportive, uh, supportive to us since like many, many years ago. So I think, uh, first of all, congratulations on Sinarma's anniversary, 80, 81. Yeah, that has been a very long journey. We're just uh, in our early journey. And just try to understand, Pak, what makes you, what made you kind of like believe in us in the early days? I mean, what is the state of the Sinarma's group during that time, why are you trying to move into the digital economy? Well, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations for your 10 years anniversary. And uh, it's really a um, uh, good journey that, um, first, uh, I think uh, all we know that uh, the brick and mortar company uh, is like uh, making a dough without the yeast. So what, what we need is the yeast, which is the digitalization, how we really transform into that. Uh, the issue is uh, most of them are not successful. So we need to have uh, to tap out a lot of and to learn some, from so many young people here really uh, as a platform uh, to really tap, tap into this uh, new, new era of the technology. So these are the the first um, guiding principles. Secondly, certainly, um, I have a chance to visit uh, the Japan office, uh, where really uh, you started, I think, that 2012, I'm not mistaken, right? So, uh, where you have very small office, which uh, so many people working there, and then also I understand that if they want to stay nearby there in Ropogi, uh, they can stay. So they work 24 by 7, mentoring by uh, the people who already have some experience there. I think that is the right model. So when we first met, immediately I said, this is the right uh, partner to have. Okay, thank you. And I mean, many of the big uh, organization, they, because they have been running the organization, organization for a while, they tend to think that they can do everything by themselves. But Sinama's approach is a bit unique because you guys like an open platform. You try to open up and let some of your assets actually works with some of the young company, unproven company. What is the thought process behind it? Why this open uh, platform you think could work? Because actually you're giving up something to these young people. Well, uh, as we know, the cake is big, as you described just now. Uh, what we believe is... Uh, not one plus one is two, but what we're saying is one and one and one, uh, which is 111. So how many, how many percent of the cake that you, you really can eat? So that's, this is the philosophy that I think in the digital world, this, uh, the growth is tremendous, uh, how you really can capture together uh, with the, with the, with the uh, what do you call it, the ecosystem, basically. I see. And... Um now we're already in this kind of the, the state of digital economy, uh, startup is booming, a lot of uh, CVC come in to invest in the startup. How do you see Indonesia in the next five, ten years ahead? Well, um, yeah, this is a very interesting time. Uh, your ten years, I think, is like a, is a, like a seed when you do the snowballing effect. So now you're already big enough, so in the next five years, I would say, uh, would be as good as your 10 years. Uh, the, the snowballing effect will be fast and really big, especially with the support of the government. Uh, always at your service. Uh, <laughs> that's what we heard from uh, Chief Rudy and uh, Pat Tom in the, in the room, that, you know, always at your service. So with that kind of environment in Indonesia, I think really we're going very fast. Do you think one day um, Indonesian company or startups or, uh, from Indonesia could go global? Oh, yes. Um, I think what you need is uh, the proof of concept, be successful. Then in the digital platform is basically you can always, uh, but not all, you know, especially the payment system, all these things have to be uh, according to the law of the country. But uh, most of it, you can really uh, capitalize on it. I see. What are the uh, verticals that you think going to be exciting for you? And 
probably start from the group and then abroad? Well, uh, for the group itself, I think, let's say for the agribusiness. So there's two, two fall on that, right? Basically, one is the, uh, not just the technology automation, the AI itself, uh, using IoT, but the other side is the biotechnology. So how you in, uh, improve the productivity, and then how do you make sure that you can operate efficiently using this digital, digitalization and, and the so-called uh, uh, precision agriculture practice. So these are the, the challenge that, that uh, because the, the plantation is very, very big in terms of areas, these are the things that how can we utilize this uh, technology into that, uh, not as a toys, because toys means expensive, uh, how it can, should be uh, really rewarding yeah, in that sense. Have you start uh, find those kind of uh, solution from Indonesia startup for your, uh, like for example, agriculture, pre uh, precision farm, farming, or you have to go abroad to find this kind of solution? Yeah, so um, still we are doing that uh, from abroad, but certainly it's welcome if any of the startup can really uh, adapt to that. I think that would be fantastic. I see. Uh, probably, what will you advise all the young entrepreneurs um, to, to, to run such a big corporation? What kind of experience can you share to us? Well, first, um, find Wilson oh. to invest. <laughs> That's, yeah, okay. That's <laughs> that very is, good. I think, the <laughs> most important thing. Uh, work very hard like the Japanese do, you know. Uh, they, they, they really work 24 by 7 with the right mentor. So Wilson is the right one who can really help you to uh, put the yeast there and really uh, he can help you to do marketing. You know, uh, like we call it burung itu bisa turun gitu loh. The sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but you know, these kind of things, of course, you have to believe it and really work, work it through uh, with the right support. Uh, most of them don't have the right support, don't have the right mentoring. Uh, and then changing the model from time to time, what well, you call it fine tuning. I think that is the, 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 the key of success. Okay. Um, thank you, Pat, for your time. That's a really encouraging conversation. And we would like to give you some uh, token of appreciation. Thank you. Yeah. And thanks for your support for these many years. It's very really great pleasure to work with you. Okay. So we draw this picture before you have your LASIK. We still have your, still have, have your uh, glasses. Yeah. So it, it should be in here. Thanks for being the most awesome LP. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much.